Good evening and welcome to the Bryan Collegiate High School commencement exercises for the class of 2023. We are pleased to have you here tonight to celebrate this joyous occasion. Each and every student that will walk this stage tonight is important to someone in this audience. Please be respectful of students' names being called by not using noisemakers or blowing air horns. Let this moment be special for each and every graduate as well as those that sit around you. Additionally, I would like to share that the content of and any views expressed during the ceremony tonight is solely and entirely the private expression of the individual and does not reflect the endorsement, sponsorship, position, or expression of the Bryan Independent School District. At this time, we ask that you please stand for the processional of the graduates. Please rise as the Bryan High School Junior ROTC posts the colors. Forward, part, part, two up, throw up, four up, put, 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 two up. Color guard. Halt. Left. Pace. Post.
Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the Forward, hut, hut, two up, throw up, four up, hut, two up, throw up, four up. Now please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with the liberty and justice for all. Please join me for a prayer. It is with immense joy and gratitude that we gather today in order to honor the incredible achievements and hard work of the graduates here tonight. Tonight, we reflect on the obstacles we have overcome with unwavering perseverance, acknowledging the growth and triumphs that have shaped us into the remarkable individuals we are today. As we come together to celebrate, we ask for the presence and blessings of our Heavenly Father. May His grace and guidance shine upon our graduating class, illuminating our achievements and providing us with strength and wisdom as we embark on, his, on, on this new chapter in our lives. We also express our heartfelt appreciation for the dedicated teachers and administrators who have tire tirelessly invested their time and energy in our education. Their unwavering support and commitment have, instrument, have been instrumental in shaping our success, and we are forever grateful to their contributions. Tonight, may our prayers extend to all those continuing their education and those entering the workforce. May we all find fulfillment and purpose in our chosen paths, knowing the success uh, comes in various forms. May every graduate and family member present here tonight find their true aspirations and be blessed with their courage, resilience, and diligence to pursue them. As we stand on this precipice of a new beginning, we pray for the strength to overcome challenges, the courage to embrace opportunities, and unwavering faith to propel us forward. May hope guide us on our journey, igniting our anticipation for the countless wonders that await us in the world. Amen. You may now be seated. Good evening, I'm Tommy Roberts and I have the privilege of serving as principal at Bryan Collegiate High School. On behalf of the Board of Trustees of the Bryan Independent School District, our administration, faculty, staff, honored guests, and on behalf of the students and soon-to-be graduates, it's my honor to welcome you here tonight to the Class of 2023 Commencement Exercises. 
Graduates, I have watched all of you grow and mature into young adults, and I'm so incredibly proud of all that you have accomplished. Tonight is the representation of those accomplishments. You have earned just shy of 4,500 college hours as a group, with an average of 52 college credit hours each. Between all of you, you've earned over 250 college acceptances, and you've served over 13,000 hours of community service here in our local community that has given you so much. Yeah. <clears throat> Additionally, 26 of you here tonight have gone above and beyond what was required of you to earn a high school diploma, and you have earned your associate's degree from Blinn College. If you are receiving your associate's degree from Blinn College this evening, please stand at this time and be recognized. You may be seated. I also want to take a moment to recognize those students who are the first in their families to attend college and those that are the first in their family to graduate from high school. Graduates, you are setting a new standard in your family by making education a focus in your life. Thank you for being such a great role model so that other family members can follow your example. If you are the first in your family to graduate from high school or the first in your family to ever attend college, please stand and be recognized as well. I'll now begin with the introductions of our guests on stage. Please hold all applause until we are done with introductions. Please stand when I call your name. Ginger Carabine, Superintendent Brian ISD Schools. Dr. Julie Harlan, Board President. Mr. Leo Gonzalez, Board Member. Mrs. Ruthie Waller, Board Member. Mr. David Stasny, Board Member. Mrs. Dana Bichuk, Associate Principal. Ms. Caitlin Labas, Keynote Speaker and Brian Collegiate Teacher. Dr. Barbara Yabara, Associate Superintendent of Teaching and Learning. Dr. Brian Merrill, Executive Director of School Leadership. Dr. Christina Richardson, Director of Advanced Academics. Dr. Marcelo Busicki, Blinn College Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs. Mrs. Sheila Homeyer, Brian Collegiate Academic Advisor. Mrs. Jan McCall, Brian Collegiate Academic Advisor. Ms. Lucy Villarreal, Brian Collegiate Registrar. Mr. Andrew Persine, Brian Collegiate Teacher and Name Announcer. David Pardo, Senior Class Secretary. Fantasia Martinez, Senior Class Publicist. Brisa Arredondo, Senior Class President. Astrid Lopez, Senior Class Valedictorian. Enrique Flores, Senior Class Re Representative, excuse me. And Tyler Wright, Senior Class Representative. You may be seated. I'd like to also take a moment to recognize a group of world-class educators that choose each and every day to do what is right and what is best for kids. If you are a current or former staff member of Bryan Collegiate High School, please stand and be recognized for your unwavering commitment in helping these seniors achieve what they've been working towards for the past four years. Now help me in welcoming senior class president, Brisa Arredondo. Good evening, everyone. My name is Brisa Arredondo, senior class president. I am happy to welcome you all to Brian Collegiate's class of 2023's graduation ceremony. I want to start off by thanking the families, friends, and teachers that are joining us here today on our special night. It truly really means a lot. Thank you for the unconditional support y'all have given us these past four years and motivating us when we felt like giving up. As I stand here tonight, I want to say how incredibly proud I am of every single one of our graduates. Graduates, you should all be proud to be here tonight, celebrating one of the many victories in your life. After all of the tears and stress, we can finally say we made it. Now for my classmates, take a moment to realize how far we have come. All of the hard work we have put these past four years is finally paying off. Brian Collegiate has not been easy, but somehow we made the best of it. As you walk the stage tonight, remember that every effort has a reward, and being here tonight celebrating the end of a chapter and the beginning of a new one is one of many. As we begin a new chapter, 
I want to remind everyone that it is okay to take a break every once in a while. After being a collegiate, taking a break might seem hard to do. However, taking a break every once in a while gives us a moment to remember why we are doing what we are doing because sometimes it gets easy to forget the reason behind all of the effort and get discouraged. It allows us to reflect and gives us a boost of motivation to keep chasing our dreams. Time goes by fast, so whatever you do after today, do it with passion and enjoy every second of it. To the many victories we will all have, congratulations, class of 2023. Now, will the top 10% please make your way to the stage? On behalf of the senior class of 2023, on this date, May 26, we present the school and student body with the new mascot, Richie, to replace the original Richie, who will go to retirement after 16 years of service to the students of Bryan Collegiate. The new Richie will proudly perform and cheer on the students at soccer games, pep rallies, and other collegiate festivities that take place in the gym and around town. Just like the spirit of the class of 2023, Richie embodies what it truly means to be a Bryan Collegiate Panther. We are delighted to accept this class gift on behalf of the underclassmen and all future Panthers. We wish the seniors class of 2023 the best of luck in your future endeavors. You have left us with many memories that we will try treasure forever in our hearts. Congratulations on your accomplishments and thank you for this gift. Congratulations, graduates, for all of you who have accomplished during the last four years. I'm so proud of each and every one of you. At this time, we will now recognize the class of 2023 honor graduates. Honor graduates are those students ranking in the top 10% of their class. Graduating cum laude, Tyler Wright. Tyler will attend Texas A&M University. Josue Roman. Josue will attend Texas A&M University. <laughs> Rayleigh Robinson. Rayleigh will attend Texas A&M University. <laughs> Stephanie Landeros. Stephanie will attend Texas A&M University. Jorge Gomez Hernandez. Jorge will attend Texas A&M University. Giovanna Martinez Galvan. Giovanna will attend Texas A&M University. Graduating magna cum laude, Denise Soto. Denise will attend the University of Texas. The class of 2023 salutatorian, Henry Doe. Henry will attend Texas A&M University. And graduating summa cum laude, the class of 2023 valedictorian, Astrid Lopez. Astrid will attend Texas A&M University. Good evening. It is an honor to be here tonight, accompanying you in the culmination of our high school journey. I would like to extend our gratitude to our faculty, staff, and family who have supported us along the way. After four short years of Bryan Collegiate, we have let it shape us with its virtues, forge us with its community, and enrich us with knowledge. I'm thankful for all the memories, experiences, and lessons we've made in this institution. 
because there are certain things that only time will give us. Time is valuable because we will never get more of it. So every day that we spend is one that we must make count. As we age, I hope for us to live in remembrance that we are what we make of ourselves, day by day and hour by hour. As Patrick Ness states, you do not write your life with words, you write it with actions. Our future is determined by us and what we do, even when no one is looking. In your decisions, have faith that things will go right. Sometimes, however, we will fail, but that's a significant part of it. Failure is never really permanent and you will overcome it. The journey matters even more so than the destination because that is what we will remember. Whatever your dreams, goals, and aspirations are, go after them and make sure they're yours. In your life, you must pursue happiness because it is not luck. It is the fruit of your actions. I'm excited for all of us to embark on our upcoming journeys and wish you all the best. Above all, I hope that you remember that you're valuable and you will accomplish whatever you prioritize. Once again, congratulations, class of 2023. You've earned it. Well, here we are. The show's over. As bittersweet as it is, Collegiate has given us almost all it has to offer. Tears will be shed and laughs will be shared. We may never see each other ever again, but let's look back on the time we shared as Panthers. And while this might not describe everyone's four years here perfectly, we tried our hardest to pick out the moments we felt stood out to everyone here. After four years together, it feels wrong to say that this will be our last moment together. But I do know that everyone here will go on and make something great of themselves. It has been an honor to be a member of this class, and we are so very honored to share a few of these unforgettable moments from our time here. Freshman year our premier season of high school, a time where we were all so scared figuring out what it meant to be in the final stages of our public school life, trying to figure out what it meant to be a student at Collegiate. The environment was a culture shock to say the least. Now our lunch periods were on, on, loop, on the line for every missing assignment and Fridays now extended at two, and ended at 2 p.m. Not to mention people were awfully excited about yelling for some animals that weren't even on campus. And just when we were all thinking, Man, can't we just have one more week of this spring break thing? Our wishes were answered. But like every genie says, every wish has a catch to it. And well, that extra week basically turned into an extra, extra year of isolation. Uh, sophomore year, the filler season. To be honest with you all, this was the hardest to pick any moments from because it was so different for almost everyone. But there is one. We got our first taste of what Blinn was really like that year. And whether you are online or in person, we all have a shared struggle through a certain class that starts with an A. Season three is when the plot finally kicks in. Junior year, we finally got to experience our first real year of high school, and it only took us an extra two years to have one. Despite this, though, the year was far from reg regular. We got to go to Blinn and sit in classes with real college students, and some of us were even taking to the road with nothing but the pavement beneath our cars to contain us. Either that or the rising gas prices, of course. But the show, of course, carry on at Little Old Collegiate. Did you know the producers of Tomorrow started their careers at Collegiate? Just look at some of our fire rap videos or some of our reenactments of what happens when you kill royalty such as Macduff. We even had a Jesus cameo at Hoko that year. Sorry if we got your hopes up. Uh, we also finally got to experience the true raw culture of Collegiate through traditions such as our first Final Four, our first Olympics, and getting to experience what it was like to go to Blinn during lunch. Overall, junior year was a year of first. However, the curtains have to eventually close on every show. Thankfully, the ending of our show was not without its excitement. It is in this year that our lives truly find their path. The past 13 years have all led up to this exact moment. This one that we are all living, breathing, and feeling right now. This year had a lot of trip, had a lot of trips. One to Relis, and then uh, we also had setting up FAFSA, applying to colleges, learning to absolutely hate debt with Dave Ramsey, and of course we can't forget David Perez absolutely killing it on the dance floor at homecoming. <laughs> <laughs> 
Not to mention we were doing all of this while being full-time college students. A lot happened this year, whether it be good or bad, but I do know one good thing we all got to share here, this grand finale of our schooling careers. We all started this adventure sitting in, collegiate, in the collegiate gym, anxiously waiting to be sorted. And it is together that we are seated, not as, not as seniors, but also as Panthers. But as soon to be alumni, uh, and also as soon to be alumni, congratulations to the class of 2023, and to quote someone who made the mistakes before we could, make good choices and be good people. I have the pleasure of introducing our keynote speaker for this evening. She is a world-class educator who first came to us as a student teacher in 2018. And she's been the favorite, of, favorite teacher of many students in this class tonight since that moment. The senior class requested that she speak tonight since she's been such a significant part of their journey at Bryan Collegiate. Please help me welcome Miss Caitlin Lavis. I've always been the type of person who listens more than I speak. I always feel like everyone else has something important to say and I'm too busy absorbing everything everyone else is saying to have a response myself. Even though I'm a teacher, I'm a huge introvert. Giving this speech is something that is completely out of my comfort zone. Throughout my four years at Bryan Collegiate, I spent a lot of time absorbing everything this class has shown me. I've watched this class support each other through the years in a really special way. The way this group of students shows up for each other is something like I've never seen before. We've been through a lot, including the sophomore incident and the math lab incident, if you know, you know. I remember your freshman year when we all took an extended spring break thanks to COVID. Through all the uncertainty and worry about what would happen next, we really just missed being with each other. I remember Miss Latham and Mrs. Moon organizing super top secret Google Meets movie hangouts just for fun because we missed connecting with each other. I remember having groups of students come into my room after school for tutorials when really, you were just looking for connection. I remember all the days I stayed later at school than I originally planned because I had too much fun watching you interact with each other, tell silly stories, or draw some really interesting art on my whiteboard. When I was asked to give this speech, I was so scared. But I realized that after years of absorbing and listening, I finally have something I want to say. I reflected on what I have learned from this class and what message I wanted to share. I kept coming back to the same phrase, which was, find your people. My whole life, I've prided myself on my independence. Throughout middle school and high school, I made friends. But at the end of the day, I saw myself as someone who didn't need other people to get by. I realized that my independence was really an excuse for avoiding vulnerability. For me, it seemed easier to deal with my problems and struggles on my own than to reach out and ask for help. When I got to college, I struggled to find my place my freshman year because I didn't know who I was. I tried to handle everything on my own. I finally built up the courage to apply to organizations, got rejected by a few and accepted into one. Little by little, I began to make friends outside of my classes. I began to open up and allow myself to lean on others. By the time I graduated college, I had a group of friends that I never knew I needed. I had found my people. But what does it mean to find your people? How do you find your people? When looking for your people, I believe it's all about a feeling. I kept coming back to the same quote by Maya Angelou. You may have heard it before, but I believe it holds a lot of power. I've learned that people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. Think about the time you spend with your friends. Do you leave those interactions feeling good? Do you lift each other up? Do you feel heard? Do you listen? Sometimes friendships flourish by being with someone who has a similar background as you or someone who shares a mutual interest. 
Sometimes it has nothing to do with what you do or don't have in common, but instead how you show up for each other. You are who you are because of the people around you, your family, your friends, even your teachers. You should always strive to continue to le learn and collect from others. When I got this job at Bryan Collegiate, I wanted to go back to what was comfortable. That is, struggling on my own, not reaching out for help, the usual. Fortunately, I met some coworkers who would not let that happen. I found more of my people. Through them, I gained confidence in myself. I guess what I'm trying to say is, it's okay to be independent, it's okay to be alone. But the more you open yourself up to others, the more you will grow. I mean, first year teacher Miss Lobbis could have never been up here giving a speech in front of this many people. Reflecting on my time at the school, it's crazy to see how much I have grown, and that is all thanks to the people around me, my coworkers, and all of you. You have helped me grow. A part of growing is also acknowledging when you need help and having the humility to ask for it. That's when you can lean on your people. I was nervous when writing this speech that I wouldn't find all the perfect words to say, so I thought, why not reach out to some of my friends and get their help? Here are some words from Miss Latham to you. Out of all the life lessons with Latham, the most important one is we can do hard things. You have already done hard things. You have taken college classes as freshmen. You have navigated the war zone that is high school interpersonal relationships. You have gotten through days where you were tired or angry or overwhelmed by things that are completely out of your control. You have met and even exceeded the high expectations that we set for you at BCHS. You have grown and you have lost. You are incredibly resilient humans that are going to change the world. Notice that I said, we can do hard things, not life will be easy. Life isn't easy, but you have your people to help you through it. Thanks, Ms. Latham. Now here's some words from Mrs. Moon to you. To live an exemplary life does not mean that you have to constantly do exemplary things. Today is a day you'll remember forever, but not every day will be like this. In fact, most of your days will be entirely forgettable. When I struggle to find purpose in my forgettable days, I ask myself three questions. Number one, did I do something today that was healthy for my mind, like reading or doing a puzzle? Number two, did I do something today that was healthy for my body, like exercising or eating a good meal? And my personal favorite, number three, did I do something intentional to show love to someone else today? If you can answer yes to each of those three questions, you had a successful day, no matter how forgettable it feels. Ultimately, my advice comes down to this. Lead with love, love for yourself, and love for others, and always show love for your people. Thank you, Mrs. Moon. Look around you. You may already have your people. They might be right next to you or a few rows back. Your people might be one person, five people, or more. You might still be in search of your people, and that's okay too. Throughout the different stages of your life, the important thing is finding the right people to be by your side. Lastly, it wouldn't be a speech from Ms. Lavis if I didn't incorporate words from one other person who has gotten me through my struggles, Mr. Harry Styles. <laughs> Just stop your crying. It's a sign of the times. Welcome to the final show, your graduation. Hope you're wearing your best clothes. You all showed up wearing the same thing. How embarrassing. <laughs> After you graduate, you know it won't be the same as it was. You don't have to be sorry for leaving and growing up. I hope you can all find a place to feel good, whether you're staying in Bryan College Station or moving far away. And we can treat people with kindness. I'm so proud of you. Congratulations, class of 2023.
Mrs. Carabine, I am pleased to present the Bryan Collegiate High School class of 2023. The academic advisors and I have examined the records of these candidates and we have found that each has completed the necessary requirements set, by, set forth by the Bryan Independent School District and are eligible to participate in these commencement exercises tonight. Additionally, I am pleased to announce that we have 26 students who have completed the required course of study and are candidates for their associate's degrees from Blinn College. Thank you, Mr. Roberts. As superintendent of Bryan Independent School District, I certify that the assembled Bryan Collegiate High School class of 2023 is eligible for these commencement exercises. And on behalf of the Bryan ISD Board of Trustees and District Administration, congratulations to all of our students, parents, and families. It is a privilege to celebrate the Bryan Collegiate High School class of 2023. What a journey. Your first few years of high school included the pandemic. But as evidence tonight, you did not let COVID-19, school closures, quarantines, or any of those other obstacles interfere with your success. We are also so grateful to the faculty and staff of Bryan Collegiate for investing in you. And while graduation, graduation may signify the end of high school, commencement actually means the beginning or the start of something new. Therefore, as you blaze a new trail, please know that we are proud of you. You are prepared for a life of purpose. In closing, we want you to know that in addition to your collegiate Panther family, you are forever part of the Brian ISD family. We will all be cheering for you as you make your positive mark on the world. Congratulations again, class of 2023. Thank you, Mrs. Carabine. At this time, we will begin with the presentation of diplomas. Marissa Celeste Acosta. Brandon Flavio Alvarado. Leslie Alvarado. Genesis Anaí Alvarez Granados. Josue Anselmo. Berenice Arellano Rodarte. Risa Arredondo. <laughs> Kayla Arredondo Arredondo. <laughs> Marlene Baez. Aksiri Onisela Balderrama. Valeria Natalie Balmaceda. Jamaya Chanel Bradford. Jeremy Thomas Burt.
Carla Michelle Calderon Avila. Christina Castillo. Amaya Isabel Cordova. Belen Cortez Aguirre. Parker Keston Court. Peyton Kirsten Court. Alexis Christine Cravat. Rodel Diaro III. Bianca Flor Diaz. Henry Doe. Dylan James Duratsik. Brianna Nicole Marie Estrada. Yareli Farias Calderon. Enrique Tristian Flores. Ayana Maria Garcia. Daniela Garcia. Jacqueline Ibet Garcia. Jorge Daniel Gomez Hernandez. Sofia Montserrat Gonzalez Oguin. Jace Matthew Gonzalez. Yeah. Abigail Gonzalez Fajardo. Fah yeah. Richard Granado Solis. Sebastian Enrique Guerrero. Dareli Guadalupe Guevara. Reagan Benet Hines. Kyler Gilliam Iselt. Andy Islas Galvan. Manuel Juarez Jr. Stephanie Marie Landeros. Yeah. 
Alexandra Elizabeth Lane. Astrid Lopez. Cassandra Lopez. Debony Lozano Garcia. Alia Marie Martinez. Giovanna Jocelyn Martinez Galvan. Fantasia Nicole Martinez. Landry Michaela Massey. Nathan Julian Medina. Jesus Jeremy Mendoza. Fabiano Enrique Molina. Joaquin Muniz. David Pardo Jr. Angel Liborio Pereira Martinez. David Nelson Perez. Michael Quintero. Emmanuel Quintero Hernandez. Elizabeth Ramirez. Montserrat Rangel. Kiara Rachel Reyes. Alan Rios. Karis Grace Rives. Rayleigh Michelle Robinson. Cristobal Rohel. Josue Roman. Juan Salas. Vanessa Salazar. (laughs) 
Edith Sanchez. Myra Cecilia Sanchez. Patricia Sanchez. Aida Sanchez Lozano. Juan Carlos Sanchez Monsevalles. Diego Said Cifuentes. Ethan Scott Snook. Denise Soto. Aiden Matthew Steedley. Benjamin David Steinschneider. Ruby Tirado Mendoza. Andrea Guadalupe Tirado Vega. Patricia Torres. Claire Elise Vestal. Sophie Morgan Voison. Amari Caden Whiting. <laughs> Riley Allen Williams. Tyler James Wright. Jose Francisco Cermeno Ramirez. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a round of applause for our graduates here tonight. Parents, families, and friends, we ask that you please stay seated until after the recessional concludes. Graduates, please stand and remain standing in your row.
At this time, please move your tassel. Congratulations, class of 2023. Thank you. 